Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic for IBPS RRB scale 2 scale पेंशन स्कीम हर साल एक दो क्वेश्चंस इसमें से आते हैं आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर द काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस दैट यू आर गोइंग टू सी इन द एग्जाम जिस तरह के क्वेश्चंस पेपर में आते हैं वैसे क्वेश्चंस मैं आज शेयर भी करूंगा सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन माय नेम इज रमनदीप सिंह एंड आई हैव बीन टीचिंग ऑन बैंक एग्जाम टुडे फ्रॉम लास्ट 12 इयर्स नाउ एंड दिस इज माय व्हाट्सएप नंबर एंड इट्स वेरी इजी टू रीच मी इफ यू वांट टू कांटेक्ट मी यू कैन ड्रॉप अ व्हाट्सएप मैसेज एंड आई बीपीएस आरआरबी स्केल 2 एंड स्केल 3 कोर्स हैज ऑलरेडी बीन स्टार्टेड वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग वीडियो क्लासेस नोट्स क्विजेस टेस्ट सीरीज power capsules and interview preparation guidance right you can download the notes you can download the no, uh, videos on your mobile app as well so link to join the course uh, is available in the description right so let's start and let me just hide myself okay so nps it's a voluntary uh, retirement scheme launched by the indian government in the beginning it was available for the government employees uh, the psu employees but now Uh, PSU and uh, the government institution employees, but now it is open to the public. Anybody can start a NPS account. Okay, that is the point number one. Available to all. Okay. Second important question. It is regulated and administered by Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority (PFRDA). से regulate करता है. That is an important point. Who is the regulator of NPS? PFRDA is the regulator. What is the goal to provide adequate in retirement income to every citizen of India? So you should know that from interview perspective. Open to all citizen between the age of 18 to 70. पहले ये 60 years तक available था 18 to 60. Then it has been extended till the age of 70. So open eligibility criteria. Open to all uh, citizen between the age of 18 to 70. It used to be 60, but now it is 70. It allows uh, subscribers to make defined contribution towards the planned savings. आप contribute करते हो, right? Uh, invest the contribution into various market-linked instruments such as equities and debt. So whatever the money that you are spending, you get an option. Uh, various schemes are there, right? किसी में equity में ज़्यादा investment है, किसी में debt में ज़्यादा investment है. But there is a maximum cap, seventy percent, seventy-five percent maximum. आप equity में invest कर सकते हो, right? so equity is that various plans are there so there are basically two tiers uh, tier 1 and tier 2 tier 1 is non withdrawable various tax benefits are available in the tier 1 and that's what we are going to discuss in this session today and it provides tax benefit under section 80c 80ccd and 80ccd 1b of income tax act whatever the money that you are investing in pension fund wo 80c ke under 150000 tak aapko redemption milti hai एग्जामेशन ये होगी एंड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड का एडिशनल बेनिफिट आपको मिलता है अंडर सेक्शन सी सी डी वो एडिशनल है ओवर एंड अबव ए टी सी की लिमिट है जो वन लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड की सो टू लाख रुपीज तक आपको एडिशनल टैक्स बेनिफिट मिलता है इस पर टैक्स नहीं लगेगा इट हैज लो वेरी लो चार्जेस एंड दैट स्ट्रक्चर इज वेरी ट्रांसपेरेंट वट इज़ एन बी एस इट्स अ वॉल्ट्री आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन रेगुलेटेड बाई होम ठीक है ओपन टू ऑल इंडियन सिटीजन सो सेम रिपीट हो गया How does NPS work? It allows the uh, subscribers to make defined contribution. You can decide कि आप रुपीज़ वन थाउजेंड इन्वेस्ट करोगे एवरी मंथ टू थाउजेंड करोगे फाइव थाउजेंड करोगे इट्स अप टू यू देर इज़ नो मैक्सिमम लिमिट बट ऑब्वियसली देर इज़ अ मैक्सिमम लिमिट ऑन द टेक्स बेनिफिट दैट यू आर गेटिंग इन्वेस्ट द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन टू मार्केट लिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स डेट एंड इक्विटी में इन्वेस्ट होता है राइट ऑफर्स टू टीयर्स देर इज टीयर वन एंड टीयर टू टीयर वन विद्रॉबल टीयर टू नॉन विद्रॉबल नहीं द टीयर वन इज एक्चुअली टीयर वन इज नॉन विद्रॉबल एंड टीयर टू इज विद्रॉबल टीयर वन में आप पैसे निकाल नहीं सकते साठ की एज से पहले पार्शल विड्रॉल का स्कीम है दैट आई गोइंग टू गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड्स इट प्रोवाइड द टैक्स बेनिफिट्स अंडर वेरियस एक्शन एंड हैज वेरी लो चार्जेस एंड ट्रांसपेरेंट स्ट्रक्चर Why should one invest in NPS to secure one's future in the form of pension? To benefit from compounding effect of long-term savings, if you are investing via NPS, you are investing in equity as well as in debt. Long term, it will give you benefit as compared to a normal FD, because uh, you are you are getting additional tax benefit of fifty thousand rupees plus. Uh, because it's investing in uh, market in the equity there are better prospects of higher returns right you are diversifying your portfolio across asset class so debt equity you are uh, very uh, diversifying 
डाइवर्सिफिकेशन हो रहा है अलग अलग ऐसे पोर्टेबिलिटी ऑफ अकाउंट यू कैन मूव योर मनी फ्रॉम वन प्रोवाइडर टू वन अदर कोटक प्रोवाइड कर रहा है यू मे गो टू एच डी एफ सी सो दैट्स अप टू यू टू अवेल अट्रैक्टिव रिटर्न एंड टैक्स बेनिफिट एडिशनल एज ए टोल यू वन फिफ्टी लाख के ऊपर भी बेनिफिट मिलता है एंड रिडम्शन इज ऑल्सो टैक्स फ्री ठीक है सो डिफरेंस बिटवीन पी पी एफ एंड एन पी एस लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर गोइंग टू आस्क क्वेश्चन अबाउट वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पी पी एफ एंड एन पी एस द पब्लिक प्रोविडेंट फंड एंड द एन पी एस कोई सिमिलर प्रोडक्ट काफ़ी सिमिलैरिटीज हैं बट पी पी एफ में सारा पैसा इज काइंड ऑफ डेट इट्स डेट वेल एन पी एस द मनी योर मनी इज इन्वेस्टेड इन इक्विटी एंड डेट एनी इंडियन रेजिडेंट कैन इन्वेस्ट हिज मनी इन यू नो इंक्लूडिंग द माइनर Uh, including the minor even minor children can uh, open the the uh, ppf account but the obviously the guardian is required while in nps age should be between 18 to 70 so that's the gap minor uh, nps ka account nahi khol sakte theek hai that's the first point nris are not eligible to invest in ppf but in nps they can invest okay what is the maturity period of a ppf account it is 15 years pre mature partial withdrawal uh, is allowed partial you can take loan against your ppf account while in case of nps uh, you can uh, do partial withdrawal right uh, maturity uh, tenure is not fixed you can contribute to nps till the age of 60 but there is an option uh, to extend the contribution till the age of 70 so that's for the nps there is investment limit as well that differs as well uh, minimum 500 rupees annually in np in ppf The maximum investment that you can do in PPF is one lakh and fifty thousand. You can do a max of twelve contribution per year. While in NPS, the minimum contribution required is six thousand rupee. Right? There is no limit on the maximum contribution, but there is a point that the contribution there should be at max ten percent contribution of your gross. salary uh, of your salary or gross total income in case of you are self employed that is a cap 10% of your gross total income you can invest in nps okay uh, other differences what are the tax benefits 1 lakh 50000 ka tax benefit you are getting in uh, the ppf right uh, the money that you are investing in ppf is tax free the withdrawal is also tax free the interest that you are earning is tax free as well Uh, while well in uh, nps 150000 ka benefit to already is there but under section 80 ccd additional benefit of 50000 is there one thing you need to note that if you are investing in ppf as well as nps 80c ka benefit is 150000 only chahe aap ppf mein karo chahe nps mein karo theek hai premature withdrawal is uh, in nps it is allowed after 7th year onwards with some limitations are there you can take loans again uh, loans during third and sixth financial year but there are certain conditions while in uh, <coughs> in nps you can withdraw at the age of 60 right after 10 years the account holders become eligible for early partial withdrawals right so you can do early partial withdrawals after 10 years of maintaining your account so to exit you must uh by an annuity plan 80% of your let's say you accumulated let's say 20 lakh rupees 20 lakh you got, you have accumulated you need to deposit 16 lakhs in an annuity plan so annuity plan on a monthly basis you are going to get uh, money back okay so they are forcing you discipline <clears throat> can i choose how to invest my money in NP, uh, in ppf no you cannot the government decide the rate of interest the interest rate is decided every year the government of india decides the rate of interest generally it is 7.5% i guess 7.6% you can check right now i guess it's 7.1% please check it yourself while in nps it is market linked because your money has been invested in equity as well as in debt so that's totally dependent upon the market okay interest rate is linked to market do i have to buy an annuity yes in case of an nps uh, you need to buy annuity at the time of maturity let's say at the age of 60 years uh, your uh, annuity plan uh, your nps is matured <coughs> you need to buy an annuity worth at least 40% of the corpus at least 40% of the corpus unless maturity amount is le less than 2 lakhs <coughs> so if it is less than 2 lakhs you can withdraw the lump sum but uh, if 
uh, it is at least 40% at maturity, you need to buy an annuity worth at least 40% of the corpus. Okay, so that much you need to buy the annuity plan. Okay. Agar 2 lakhs se kam hai, maturity amount, lump sum you can withdraw, no limit. So certain withdrawal rules for the NPS, the current NPS withdrawal rule states that the individual can withdraw up to 60%. At the age of 60, you can, uh, when you reach the age of 60, you can withdraw 60%. <coughs> Rest of the money you have to invest in an annuity plan. Okay, annuity plan on a monthly basis, you are going to get money back. Uh, and if your uh, total corpus is less than two, uh, 2 lakh rupees, no such limits are there, okay? A lump sum uh, corpus withdrawal can be postponed till the age of 70, but at that age, you have to take that, uh, you have to withdraw the money. <clears throat> partial withdrawals can be made up to three times. Uh, so you can do the partial withdrawals uh, during your tenure of NPS account. But the max amount that you can withdraw is 25% of your contribution. That's the maximum withdrawal that you can do. If you have invested, let's say 20 lakh rupees, the max you can withdraw is 5 lakhs. Okay, so three times you can withdraw, the max you can withdraw is 25% of your contribution. For withdrawal before the age of 60, <clears throat> if you, I mean, if 10, 10 years have been passed, the sell up your account ko maintain kar liya. And if you want to withdraw your money before the age of 60, at least 80% of the accumulated wealth has to be invested in an, in, in an annuity plan. So if you have already invested 20 lakhs rupee and 10 years have been passed, then at least 16 lakhs have to be invested in an annuity plan, which will pay you on a monthly basis. Okay. Certain MCQs that are important. What is NPS? That is National uh, Pension System. Who regulates NPS? That's an important question. The PFRDA uh, regulates the NPS. That's really, really important. The maximum age limit for joining NPS is 70 years. That's also very important. Uh, which of the following is not a feature of NPS? Not really important. It's men it's not mandatory at all. Uh, so this is the answer. Regulated by PFRDA, two types of accounts are there. Tier 1, Tier 2 provides tax benefits under Section ADC and ADCCD. Really important. Uh, which of the fall, which of the following is the minimum contribution required for opening an NPS account? So minimum contribution required 500 rupees, right? For the tier one and for tier two, it's thousand rupee. Which of the following is a maximum equity exposure allowed in NPS? Maximum equity exposure is 75% is allowed. More than that, equity exposure is not allowed. Which of the following sections provide an additional tax benefit of 50,000 rupees? That's really, really important. So ATC ka benefit to milta hi hai and ATCCD uh, subsection 1B, you get an additional benefit of 50,000 rupees, okay? Which of the following is a unique identification number allotted to each NPS account holder? You get a PRAN. PRAN number you get, that is unique, okay? Permanent retirement account number you get. Uh, when you open your NPS account, you can switch your schemes, you can go from one provider to another. Uh, but you have your permanent retirement account number, what is the full form of PRAN that is permanent retirement account number really, really important. And that's I guess all for today students IBPS RRB scale to scale three course is available on bank exams today.com. We are providing the video classes, notes, quizzes, test series, live sessions and power capsules, please check. Uh, link to join the course is available in the description list of our successful students who took our courses for the various exam and they cracked the respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. You can be one of them. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and we are here to answer your doubts. So I hope you already got my WhatsApp number 9067201000. This is the WhatsApp number here you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. So students, thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.